COVID-19 patients are filling up Kansas City hospitals and intensive care units once again. Healthcare workers say it's starting to feel like it did this past winter when the virus was raging out of control. We got an exclusive look inside of a COVID ICU today. Here's KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar. Right now, there are more than 80 patients hospitalized with COVID-19 in the St. Luke's health system. That's up from the 30s just a month ago. The sickest of the sick are here on the plaza, and the staff caring for them are tired, frustrated, and concerned about the direction we're heading in. For a year and a half, Dr. Andrew Schlachter has suited up in the most protective PPE possible to care for those struggling most in their battle against COVID-19. It's been very hard. Inside this COVID ICU are patients as young as 30, many on machines to keep their lungs and hearts working. I'm seeing a whole lot of avoidable and preventable death. Dr. Schlachter says it feels a lot like it did in February, but this time the majority of patients had access to a vaccine and chose not to get it. My patients with coronavirus, many of them are intubated. Many of them are deeply sedated. Many of them are on significant amount of medicines to control their muscles and paralyze them even. Some patients have underlying health conditions. Some were perfectly healthy. The Delta variant can hit anyone hard. With the unvaccinated population, we're seeing younger, healthier patients with much more severe disease. And it's taking a toll on the staff on the front line. In May, in June, I was like, okay, this feels like maybe we are getting back to a sense of normalcy. And then July this month, we're like, oh, this, this feels way too familiar and not in a good way. Registered nurse Rachel Johnson has COVID patients from the same family hospitalized and dying in her wing. In the last year, yeah, I've seen more death than in the whole other seven years of my career combined. And I've also had to ha hold the hand of a dying patient with no family. That's horrible. Nobody should have to do that or fe be alone. It's, it just doesn't feel fair. It doesn't feel right. She says with the vaccine so readily available, this all seems unnecessary. Do what you can. Like I said, even if it's not going to affect you, it's going to affect somebody. And yes, these healthcare workers acknowledge the fact you can still get COVID when fully vaccinated, but the chances of ending up here are much, much lower. No one wants to meet my patient with severe coronavirus. My patients have a tube in their mouth, large IVs in their neck, large IVs in their arm. They are deeply sedated. They are sometimes paralyzed. They are sometimes put onto their stomach, we call that proning, to help with lungs that have completely failed. Some of our patients need to stay in a coma for weeks, if not months. Dr. Schlachter can't recall the number of patients he's seen struggle like this, but he remembers their faces. The truth of the matter is there's far too many patients and they're all inside my head. And I think about them often, the ones that we've been able to help, the ones we've been able to save and those who we have not. Dr. Schlachter says he still hears a lot of skepticism from families of patients dying from COVID, questioning whether the virus is to blame. All he can do is lay out the facts and do his best to reverse the illness. And we can all help him and his colleagues by simply getting the vaccine. Reporting in Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.